Hi everyone, you are welcome. My name is Mr. Yebua Ejabin Nimfa. I'm your teacher for today. I'm a teacher at the University of Cape Coast Primary School. And I'm going to take you through how to register with your Edmodo. We have downloaded the app already. So what we need to do is that we are going to register using the app. So you tap, you connect your phones to the internet. And then you tap on the app. To load and you see create free accounts. Let's tap on it. Okay, so who are you? Teacher, student. Let's tap on student. Okay, you have class code, username, password, email. Okay, so what is going to happen here is that we are going to get, give each and every one of you, that is every class, a code to use. The teachers will copy the code and then paste it on the WhatsApp platforms that you have. So don't worry, you are going to have your code. Okay, teachers are going to send that code to you. So this is what we are going to do next. What we are going to do next is that we type in the code that a teacher has sent to us. So I'm using 5nana to do the registration. So I'll type in the code of 5nana. Okay. So after that it says username. So what I'm going to do is to type in the username 3 plus characters. So your username, username should be 3 characters or more. Okay, so I'm going to type in Atos. Okay, then password, please. What you are going to do is that write your username somewhere. Write the password to somewhere. That is what you use to join the class later. So the password, when I type the password, I know you will see it on the screen, but I will delete it or change the password right afterwards. So don't worry, you can't use my password to join the class. Okay, so then I have email which is optional don't type in don't type anything there okay so let's click on create accounts so i've done that ah there is an exclamation sign telling me the name atos is taken it's in red color you can see so what i have to do is to change that username somebody is using it already so i can't use the same username to join the platform okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to add 20 to my Atos. So I've changed the username. Okay, let me click back on create account and see. Ah, it still tells me username is taken. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make this one Atos. So with a 4S, Atos with a 4S and see what will happen. Okay, so I tap on create account and wait for what will happen. Okay. All right, good. It means that the system accepted my Atos. It means I have to write the name Atos somewhere. Remember, I type my Atos with four S. So I have to write that username somewhere. And then I'll write my password under it. These two things are the things that I will need when I'm joining the class. Okay, so let's type our first names. In this case, I'll type in my first name as Nana, then I'll type in my last name as Yeboah. Okay, then what do I do? I'll tap on next button. Okay, I've done that. Okay, so the next page comes and says personalize your photo or profile photo. It means that you can tap here to go to your phone gallery to go and select a picture of your choice. Let's continue. I know most of you will try to do it, but let's continue from here. Let's type on done. I'm not selecting any picture for now. So I have here, notify parents. Please listen carefully here. You can say notify by phone, mobile phone, or notify by email. Please, you can see where they have written notify parents. There's a button there that says close. Somebody will say multiplication sign. Just tap on the multiplication sign. It means that you don't want to select that option. The button multiplication sign is beside the word notify parents. As you can see. So I'll tap on the close button there to close it. It means I don't want to use that option. Okay. So when I do that, bam, it has brought me to my class. You can see class, latest activity, my class. So when you tap on my class, then you can see five na na opukwa jimai. I told you that is what I'm using for the video. So when I tap on 5 Nana Opukwajimai, it will send me to the class. 
And then the things that the teacher has put there, I will see it. I can see computing. I can see notes for exercise one. Then, then down there, I can see exercise one. It means that the computing notes that I have to read in order to do my exercise one is what I can see over there. Okay? So when you go to your class, you see your the things that the teacher has put there for you to do. Then you do all the exercises and read all the notes that he has put there for you. Okay, now you can see five nana opokwa jumine at the top part of the screen. And there is an arrow pointing backwards. Tap on it. Good. When I did that, you can now see classes with an icon that looks like a human being. Just tap on the icon. You will see log out as the last option. Anytime you go to the class to go and do your work, you have to log out so you're no more in the class. So I'll tap on the log out to log me out of the class. Are you sure you want to log out? Now tap on OK. Then it will log me out of Edmodo. All right. So this is how to create an account using the Edmodo. And it will take you to our platform, our online platform that we created for you. I hope you are going to enjoy it. Don't forget to always go to my YouTube handle and tap and like the videos over there. We are going to post more videos there for you to use to make your work easy. Okay? So, all right. So, the next time we meet, I will show you how to take the exercise. When you use the Edmodo, you want to do your work. How do you do it? I will show you in my next video. All right? Until then, au revoir. Bye-bye.